Uh, there's a big report at the Daily Poll. We've also got this linked up on InfoWars.com. A uh, video uh, of it actually happening. CNN Disinfo refuses to use their own poll and scores of other scientific polls that showed Ron Paul winning at 79% and higher. And they used some private fake poll they did with 54 respondents to show Ron Paul with zero votes. And that's what they put out on the news. Uh, but only in the fine print did it show that it was only 54 votes. Romney with 51%, Bachman with 21, uh, Palenti with 9, Gingrich with 7, Kane, Herman Kane with 4, Santorum with 4, Paul with 0. So on national news, they're saying, oh, Ron Paul, 0. Not telling you it was some internet poll they posted where nobody could see it and that their own real poll, 79% voted. So that's, that's how they do sleight of hand. That needs to be investigated, I tell you. They are so incredibly disingenuous, and there's video of it. Uh, there's screenshots of it, and then there's screenshots and video uh, of all the other polls, CNBC, uh, Fox, you name it. And uh, CNBC did the same thing. Uh, they showed 54 votes uh, with Romney with 51. In fact, it was a CNBC uh, poll that CNN used. Uh, some internet poll that I guess no one even was able to see. I mean, we put a poll up on InfoWars, and it gets five, 6,000 in a day. Uh, but the CNBC poll had 54 votes, and that's what CNN used uh, to be specific, showing Ron Paul with zero. When their own CNN poll that we have video of in a screenshot showed him winning by 79. That is how desperate uh, the system is starting to get right now. The headline, video, CNN, disinfo, refuses to use own poll. Ron Paul win at 79%, reports zero. So who won? A poll of GOP insiders says Mitt Romney didn't do anything to hurt his frontrunner status last night, and that's sort of what his yep. goal was, mm -hmm. obviously, to you know, do no harm. 51% saying he was the biggest winner. But Congresswoman Michelle Bachman also scored some big points as well, coming in second when people were asked who won 21%. Uh, she was actually the only other candidate in double digits. I have a few have questions a few for my uh, colleagues. colleagues. What if we wake up one day and realize that the terrorist threat is a predictable consequence of our meddling in the affairs of others? It has nothing to do with us being free and prosperous. It's been four years since the last warning. Just seconds left. It's almost came over. We can't press reset. The revolution got stronger as the pressure did. On back with the new message because we never left. Blood and sweat for everything. Anything that we never get. No loss of liberties. Fuck the enemy. Get the leverage. It's dead and dead in the sea. Repetitive negligence. They deny the viable and the relevant. The evidence after decades of decadence Now there's less than effectiveness It gets harder to follow Time for setting the precedence For a weapon of force Not to be reckoned with check it It's Ron Paul First round Crap him over the second is I got nothing to compare it to As big as his messages Dr. Paul is the doctor That fixes a pessimist Make a negative positive So it's time we elected him Cause to save the economy He's got my vote for president What if Ron Paul was president? All right, so yesterday we had our debate wrap up, and the general consensus seems to be that things went all right for Ron Paul, and he was treated fairly. But sadly, CNN appears to be afraid of using its own polls for its own post game analysis. When reporting post debate, they instead use data from a national journal poll given to political insiders. Data taken from five other major poll sources post debate showed Dr. Paul at 31.07% at Fox News, 83% at CNBC. 87% at WePolls.com, Vortex Effect. May, might have been a little biased there with the, the, the audience, 93.31%. But even at CNN's own poll, 78%. Okay, so let's be fair. The online polls can be skewed like any other form of polling, but here's the skewing that CNN came up with. There you go. Romney at 51%, down to Paul at zero. How did they get away with this. They didn't invent the numbers as they might as well have. Instead, they reported on a National Journal online poll that had all of 54 votes. And according to the Baltimore Sun, it was reported that Ron Paul clearly won audience favor in New Hampshire. 
An analysis of audience reaction shows Paul was applauded twice as much as any other candidate on stage. Throughout the two-hour debate, Paul was applauded 11 times. Romney, Bachman, and former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty were each applauded five times. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich and businessman Herman Cain were each applauded four times. Senator Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum was applauded the least amount of times three. Again, zero percent. Really? CNN?